Hi, and welcome to Lawyering Outside the Lines. Brooke and Laura here. And all April, we have been chatting about client communications. And so today we are actually focusing on tech tools that can help you to communicate better and become more efficient. And so here are four communication tools that uh, can really change and um, level up the whole client experience uh, and the experience for you. So the first thing is uh, e-calendaring. And so uh, we have always used, since we've been virtual, a cloud-based calendaring system. Uh, we have had Calendly, we have had Acuity. Uh, currently we have Client Rock because we have Client Rock for everything because they're awesome, but which we say every week. Um, <laughs> but the uh, e-calendaring was really important to me because we were able to control it on the back end, but it was also um, client facing. And so our clients could go and sign up and there wasn't the back and forth, um, you know, to get somebody signed up on your calendar, emailing or, you know, having to hire an actual physical person and pay them to get on the phone and um, put somebody on your calendar. So we do have an answering service, but our answering service also can pick up that calendar that we use because we have it embedded in our website and they can book people there. And so, um, you know, I know early on, a lot of people have asked, had asked us, you know, well, I just like to be able to, you know, manage my calendar. And that was a really big attorney fear. I don't know, like that they would lose control somehow if they made it client facing. Um, and that, you know, that's not the truth. Most of these tools, all these tools that I've just talked about, allow you actually to um, be able to manage your time on the back end. And some of them do more. The reason we are with, um, I mean, like Acuity and Calendly both will accept payment. Uh, Client Rock not only accepts payments, but it actually puts us in, put it into our system. And so we can, you know, start an engagement if they become a client. So really look at what you're needing and the functionality of the different e-calendaring systems. Uh, but e-calendaring, even if you don't want to put it client facing, some people don't, you can hand that to your um, paralegal, your assistant. You can, we send it out when people want to have calls with us just, you know, for, you know, 30 minute interest calls in our licensing program. And so whatever it is, um, you have the, the ability to manage it on the back end, even if it's not client facing, but that's definitely a perk. And that brings me to number two, as mentioned our answering service, we use smith.ai, but uh, part of our package, uh, they uh, include a chatbot. And so if you heard me all the other times I've talked, I've said, I love chatbots. And so <laughs> it really has leveled up our ROI um, as far as people getting on the website and people actually signing up to have a consultation with us. Um, they can serve multiple purposes. You can, if you don't have an answering service like we do that has some option like that, there are all sorts of widgets that you can install. Um, I know there's a WordPress one that I think might be free uh, that our marketing people told me about, but anyways, if you can look into chatbots and figure out what functionality you need, it's a really awesome way to be able to get your client through your website. They can navigate your website, whatever your purpose is. When they come to your website, you are able to kind of, I don't want to say manipulate because that's not what we're doing, but you're able to guide and help them navigate uh, the, the website and get them to the important places that they need to be, that you want them to be. And so you can customize yours, ours. Laura spent a while working with them to customize ours um, based on you know, what state they're in and what attorney does, what kind of practice area. And so ours is very customized because we want it, we don't want it to feel super impersonal, um, but it's a really great tool and, it, and it's been very advantageous to us. And we've seen a, a pretty big jump in people actually signing up on our calendars because they've had that guided assistance. Yeah. So another tech tool for communication, you've heard us talk about a million times um, because we are big proponents of the idea of everyone moving to a client portal for communicating with your clients. Client portals are our jam. So that's, that's really how we exist. That's how we communicate with our clients. And so many people have already have access to a client portal within their practice management systems or their CRMs, whatever it might be, and they just don't utilize it. And I think that, you know, if Brooke and I can't share anything else with the world, we want to share that attorneys can be happy in their jobs <laughs> and they can have a fulfilling personal and professional life. And a lot of that for us really started with pushing our communications to the client portal because it saves on 
you know, all sorts of organization troubles, um, but it's also secure, it's encrypted, it's, you know, all of the bank level, HIPAA level security, privacy, depending on what kind of program you use. We again use Client Rock for our client portal. That's our that's our thing. That's our our star right now is, is Client Rock. And we can file share, we you know, ask questions, they can send us documents, they can send us pictures, like whatever we need to do, we do inside of that one place, that client portal. And that tech tool is the foundation basically of our law firm and how we communicate with our clients. Uh, I will mention that um, Brooke and I have both seen people talking about moving clients to a, you know, messaging type tools for communication, things like Slack or Messenger or those types of things. And I want to make you be aware and caution you a little bit on using any kind of tool that's not secure, not doesn't have encryption, doesn't have the proper privacy kind of background um, embedded in. Slack is great. We use it internally. Um, make sure that you are using paid versions of these things and not free versions because free versions are never private. <laughs> Just keep that in mind. Uh, so don't use free versions of stuff. Use business enterprise, that kind of thing, if you're going to move people to tools. But I do want to do a little quick shout out to a tool called Armor Text, which is a um, it's a uh, internal messaging tool for businesses that was not created for the legal interest industry. It was created for, I think, the oil and gas industry. And we've used it for a lot of years uh, for internal um, communications as well as Slack. But the the benefits of Armor Text are huge because they um, their level of security is so high. It's beyond what anybody else is doing, really, because with this download on your computer, on your iPad, on your smartphone, it's encrypted. The encryption is for the person, but also for the device. So if somebody loses their phone or um, gets a new phone or, you know, uh, leaves it in the cab. I don't know why I'm talking about this. I just say leave it in the cab because <laughs> we're all taking cabs right now. Uh, but um, you can wipe the data. So anything can be accessed from the administrative kind of point of armor text and you can wipe that data off of a lost or stolen or just not used anymore device. Um, and that's huge. And you can do file sharing in there. You can do messaging. You can also do video chats. And, you know, so if you're talking about using that type of thing for client communication, then just know the security level is a lot higher. And I would, again, just make sure that whatever you're doing with your clients, especially if you're asking them to send personal information, banking information, you know, so security numbers, all that kind of stuff that you're, that you have the proper security and privacy tools in place to do that. That's a lot of words. Do you have anything to add, Brooke, before I sign off? No, you used all the words. No. no. Oh, there you go. <laughs> well, thanks so much for hanging out with us this month, talking about client communications. We'll be here next month. Topic to be decided. And we'll see you on Tuesday next week at 1 p.m. Eastern, 12 Central, 11 Mountain, and 10 Pacific. And y'all have a great rest of your week. Thanks.